Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Jessica, welcome back to another video or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today's video is uh, what's on my iPad. And I feel like everybody's getting an iPad. Everybody's like getting an iPad like it's a phone. So I feel like everybody is like getting an iPad. So I feel like this is very convenient time to film a what's on my iPad to spark some interest on to what to install to your iPad or you know, stuff of that nature. I have the iPad Air, uh, fifth generation and starlight. This is the color I have it in. Uh, a 10 inch, I think this is what it is. And then, yeah, I'm gonna drop the iPad. This is the accessory I have for it. I have this playing back case that I got from Amazon that'll be linked down in the description. I really like this case. I feel like I, yeah, I feel like almost all cases that go on the iPad are like magnetic. Like I don't really need anything to, you know, this is just this case. And I got an all black because I feel like why not get an all black case? What's wrong with an all black case? And another accessory I have for it is I have an Apple Pencil. Uh, You don't have to get an Apple Pencil. I heard there's other, gosh. I hear there's other um, good pencils that work for iPads and doesn't specifically have to be an Apple Pencil. And as you know, the Apple Pencil sticks and charges onto the iPad. Sometimes I be feeling like um, my Apple Pencil drains my iPad battery, so I keep it in my pencil pouch case thing instead of like on my iPad, unless I need to use it or it needs to charge. We're gonna start off with what's on my iPad. All right, so we're getting ready to screen record. We're gonna start off with my home screen, lock screen. Uh, I have my 2020 vision board. I usually keep my iPad like horizontal most of the time. So this, this is how it looks majority of the time when it's horizontal. This is my 2023 vision board. So then, I, you know, I have my home page. I have these widgets. Um, we're gonna start off with the first four on top. Everything is hard before it's easy. One day I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have everything I prayed for. I really believe it. I believe that God is good even when life is not. And then we have the battery um, widget to know what percent my other devices are on. It doesn't really tell my phone percent or my Mac, you know, just the iPad and AirPods and the Apple Pencil. So those are the uh, four widgets that I have on top. And I got them all from Pinterest and I implemented them with um, Widget Smith. Um, the next row, we have Netflix, TikTok, Canva, CapCut, Photo Booth, and Font. And I'm gonna go into depth on widgets. So we have Netflix. We all know what Netflix is. It's a streaming app. We have TikTok. It's a social media site, you know, where people promote and make content. I feel like we all know what TikTok is at this point. We should. Canva. I use Canva for, to make my thumbnails. I use Canva to make the vision board. I have two vision boards. So I use Canva for the both of them. Um, yeah, I mainly use Canva to um, make all my thumbnails. Usually just to like add the grid on my thumbnails and I will do that by selecting YouTube thumbnail, click elements, then we will scroll down, then we find grid and we will see all. And then you could just implement the grids that, you know, you're interested in. And then to remove like the lines on the, what the heck? Usually it'll be white lines, I don't know why. Oh, it's another grid on here. Hello. But yeah, this this is, to remove the lines on the grids, like spacing and stuff, you just click on one of the grids, click spacing, and then you'll have no lines on neither of the grids. So, yeah. That's what Canva is for, and that's what I use Canva for. I also have CapCut on my iPad. I forgot what I use this for, but I don't really use CapCut on my iPad. I really use it on um, my phone, like 
like birth film, TikTok, day in the life, it's like, or like little previews like this. The one that I put before my video. And if you want to watch this video, it'll be linked in the iCard. So yeah, CapCut is like an editing software that um, you can use to like edit videos or what may have you. I also have Photo Booth. Um, Photo Booth comes with the iPad. It's just a whole bunch of, I don't know why my screen is blurry, but a whole bunch of um, illusions on here and stuff. So yeah, that's what Photo Booth is. Then I have Fonto. Fonto is another app that I use to make thumbnails. I'm just gonna do a plain image. I use this to make thumbnails. And I never size on Fonto because, because um, I size on Canva. And that'll just be its original size. But you could custom size on Fonto. I'm pretty sure it's, um, I don't really know, 1280? No. 12, I think that's the size for thumbnails. Don't add me though. I use Fonto to, uh, like add the um, I use oh my gosh I use Fonto to add text onto um my thumbnails. So we're gonna say that from, and then yeah, that's really like what the secret is. And then you move it to size it like on the middle of the page. That's really like my favorite feature. And I really love this font. It's a pretty font. And then on the side the left we have these three widgets that I also add. Healed, I healed is one widget. I'm a money magnet, and then we got the girl down there with bands on her hands. Really dollars, but we envision in bands. Um, I feel like widgets are like an essential for iPads. I don't care. I feel like that because they're just like constant reminders. And I'm on my iPad every day, so this is like a constant reminder of the things. I see for myself now and that'll help me in the future. That's what that is. So then we have YouTube. We all know what YouTube is. Um, you're watching it. You're watching me on YouTube right now. So we should all know what YouTube is. Then we have Pinterest, my social with no social. I get all my um like vision board ideas on Pinterest. I get my widgets on Pinterest. Uh, you know, I'm building my class of 2024 vision board on here. None of my um, pins are, um, and I really have like old pins. Like these are hella old. Like this is when we were in the era of like printing like these specific color pictures and we would put them on the wall. Like a wall dedicated with pink or blue or green or whatever the color you But majority of these pins like are old but you know like i still have my sweet 16. like these are like um i don't know what these are but i share this with my mom anyways that is not really what we're here for but these are my pins i'm building my class of 2024 pins you know no need to be stressing it's next year so let me start now and not wait to the end then i have this little shortcut I have this shortcut and I'm now gonna retrieve my Apple Pencil. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot where I put, oh, okay. Anyway. Right. So I got my Apple Pencil and I have this little, uh, this little thing right here. It's a shortcut or it says bookmark, but it takes you to this app that leads you right to where you need to be. Today is the sad and Today is the seventh and I have nothing planned. But this is my little digital planner where I write and you know, I talk my shit for real. And yeah. I don't really have, like I'm not really like the one to be like a diff iPad girl. Like I don't know how to do that. I feel like it's all a facade on, on social media because People really do plan for the iPad and I do it when I need to, you know? So, this is just the real iPad T. Anyways, then we have my education folder. We have Notability, 
canvas and good notes um i got my ipad in november and i got my apple pencil during winter break so i've never like used my ipad for school necessarily but i do plan on starting because like i said i'm starting nursing school so not like i said i never said this in this video but i said it before i'm starting nursing school and i do plan on using this ipad i plan on putting this whole work so i don't See, I haven't even opened no, no, no ability, notability. Um, because I got a new iPad, because I had broke my last iPad, so they just had replaced it. So, you know, yeah, <laughs> I don't have much to say. I never use nobility. The only difference on nobility compared to good notes, I really use good notes more than I use nobility. But the only difference is um on notability. You have this like little lecture thing that you can use. Okay, I, I don't really know. But it, you see the little microphone like right there above the screen? Uh, yeah, that's the only difference with Notability and Good Notes is that Notability, you have this like little lecture video recording thing if you want to film lectures and stuff. That's the only difference with Notability. Then I have my, oh, I'm not even logged in Canvas, bro. It don't matter. School is starting again tomorrow. I mean, Monday. So, I don't gotta worry about that. But yeah, Canvas is just a, 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 a app for school related things like homework, that's all. Then we have Good Notes. I really use Good Notes. Oh my gosh. Kick me out. But yeah, I use Good Notes for my digital planning. I used to have like a journal on here, but it didn't sync to my iCloud. And I told y'all I just got a new iPad. So, yeah, I have, you see, it's saying my dancing taco. I gotta fix that. But yeah, I do use good notes. Uh, let me teach y'all some of the good note tricks, hold on. So, I did pay for good notes for like free access to everything, I guess. So yeah, let's just um, quick note, let's make a quick note. You can set the colors to whatever colors you want. Whatever prime colors you want to have, you can do that. So like, let's say you want, these three colors, you can have these as your prime color and just choose them throughout. And I always, and I size my own um, pen thickness and I like the 0 0.85 one, but you don't have to, just whatever fits your bloke. This little um, text box thing right here, click it if you want like neat writing, I guess. Like right, handwriting, that's not yours. So you wanna click that, you wanna open your little box, stretch that out. I'm too zoomed in. And then you're gonna write like, and then like you could have just like sizes on default and stuff. But yeah. And then like if you let's say you ever want to erase, you can just double click your Apple Pencil and dip. that is some little good no hacks if you are looking for it. Um, yeah, that's all on my home screen. That is all on my home screen. Then we swipe here. I actually want to bring this to the front. Let's bring this whole to the front. We have Notion. I don't know how to use Notion, but I want to get into the habit of using Notion. Like, I did this little thing right here. I don't really know, like, what the heck. Like, I did this, I did this, I did this. No, I never did this. I lied. I did this. I uploaded a video today. Go watch that if you have it, my Florida vlog. It's a really good video. I ate, I showered, I made my bed. I did all this. Like, I don't really know what Notion is for or how to use it or, you know, you guys are here to give me some tips too. We're doing this together. So, you know, help a girl out and figure out like what's the best way to use Notion. Like, or for personal use, you know. Help me out, help me out. Then we swipe here, it's a very plain page. This is my utilities page. Oh. We have settings, podcasts. I have to like, I never like open these up since I got these up there. Then we have books. Where my library at? Okay, okay, okay. We have my books. Then we have camera. Anyways, 
Then we have the app store, then we have FaceTime, then we have clock, shortcuts. Shortcuts is how I made this little planner thing right here. And I put it on my home screen. So let me show y'all how to do that real quick because this is like a little helpful video. So you're gonna click your shortcuts. You wanna press add. Then you wanna press apps. Then you want, like let's say I wanted to have a specific book. I lied, I don't know how to do this, I lied. Let me go back to uh, how I did my little um, planner stuff. So we're gonna go on Good Notes. We're gonna click on whatever. Like these are basically your titles in Good Notes and you get to click on whatever you want. So I'm gonna click on Digital Planner. I'm gonna say, oh, I'm not done. I'm gonna click on this. I'm having a hard time here, man. I'm having a hard time. Okay. Apps. I keep passing it. Good notes. Digital planner. Then you want to click on this right here. Oh. You can edit the name. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, you can edit the name. I don't have digital planner, I just have planner on there. And then after you edit the name, you can click this one right here. You wanna press add to home screen to add it to your home screen. And you wanna click on this. And you could choose a picture, any picture. Just use this. Add that bit to the home screen. There you go. Bam! So that's how you get that on there. Yup. Yup. Anyway, then we have Find My, and that is the last app on utilities. And then my little home screen is this like aura type of orange nude beige looking thing. And that is all for what's on my iPad. I don't know it all about iPads. I didn't come out here saying I knew it all about iPads. And if you want to help a girl out, suggest a girl some apps or some apps for school or content creating, like go ahead and do that. Comment down below what do you use on your iPad and we can both help each other out. So, yeah. I'm here to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye.